Ladies and gentlemen, I have become a time traveler, and in today's video, I will be traveling one billion years into the future to show you guys the important things, like, is the future good? Does the sun explode? Would most of its surface be covered in volcanoes? Maybe. Or would it be frozen in ice? It, it could. It very what well if could. you traveled even further? To one million years in the future. One million years. Would all of the oceans have evaporated? Well, I can't tell or you, but I will. Would it have become Later. one giant water world? No, Statue of Liberty, okay, no. Now, what about one billion years? One billion years! Would there be any humans left? I don't think so. Or would they have settled in other parts of the galaxy? This is what if. And here's what would happen if you traveled one billion years into the one future. One billion years. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we hop into this, I want you guys to comment down below what, what you think the world is going to look like a billion years in the future. Now, don't skip ahead and then go back and then comment. I know some of you guys will do that just to look cool and smart and epic, but do not do that. That is cheating. You're a little rat. Was that Scarlett Johansson? Let's face it. The chances of any humans being around to greet you when you arrive one billion years into the future are pretty low. Sad. Several so sad. existential threats face the human race, and if we want to be around in one billion years, we'll need to endure them all. We've seen how much we've struggled to come together just to survive a global pandemic. So how do we have any chance of enduring the threats of climate change, overpopulation, global nuclear war, killer asteroids and comets, natural ice ages, and the sun getting a whole lot hot? Guys, I don't know if this is true, but I've actually heard that overpopulation might not be as much of an issue as we originally thought, and underpopulation could be a bigger issue, where if there's not enough people in the world to fulfill all of the different jobs and tasks that we need on a day-to-day -day basis, then there's not going to be people to run the important things. Like, there's not going to be people that work at the stores. There's not going to be people that work at these, like, giant chemical plants that produce power and things like that. There's a million different jobs out there that need billions of people for the world to run. So if we don't have enough people, then the world might shut down as we know it. Otter. Well, let's take a look into the future and find out. 10, Just under years. 10,000 years from now, we're going to run into a big problem called the Deca Millennium Bug. Okay, what did he just say? The Deca Millennium, what? Is that going to be like a virus? In the year 10,000 AD, software encoding the AD calendar year won't encode dates with more than four decimals. <laughs> Remember Y2K? Yeah, it's just like that. Except, hopefully, we won't panic as much this time. Okay, again. guys, I don't know if I'm just, like, overthinking this, but that does not seem like a problem. It, like, if I'm thinking 10,000 years into the future, I'm not, like, spending my nights thinking, like, oh my gosh, the computers, the computers aren't gonna know what date it is because they don't have the technical capacity to learn the new dates. I'm not really worried about that. I feel like that is kind of an easy fix. You could just update your computer, right? Like all of the computers kind of just do that automatically right now. They just update. So I feel like that's an easy fix. In 10,000 years, I am way more worried about uh, will octopi evolve to take over the world? Because if an octopus learns how to use a machine gun, we're not going to be doing too hot, ladies and gentlemen. And those are the other things like global warming, potential asteroids, the moon slowly moving away from the earth. So there's other things that I'm worried about more than just our computers not knowing what date it is. Around. On the bright side, in 10,000 years, genetic differences and traits between humans will no longer be regional. Traits like skin and hair color will be evenly distributed around the world. Oh, that's pretty Maybe cool. Maybe that will help us all get along. Finally. So he's basically saying that because the entire world is becoming more, 
I guess, diverse, like people that were born in one place are traveling to a different place. And then, you know, they're having their own offspring. And then that just keeps happening. And by way of that, the world just becomes more and more diverse. It's like a giant melting pot of just all different types of people, species, or not species. That would be strange. I take that back. Just different types of people and cultures blending together. And then people are just going to kind of start to look more and more like one another than different. 20,000 years into the future, none of the current languages will be recognizable. Huh? Future languages Wait, really? will only contain 1% of the core vocabulary words of their present day counterparts. Are you telling me brain rot is going to become that bad that we're going to forget all of our languages? Are you serious? 50,000 years from now will mark a new glacial period for the Earth, which That's will not start good. a new ice age. Niagara Falls will have eroded into Lake Erie completely. Wow. And interestingly, a full day on Earth will also increase by one second at this point in time. <laughs> oh, whoa. So much more time whoa. for activities. <laughs> what am I going to do with my extra second? Because I'm totally going to be living because I'm a time traveler. In 250,000 years, the Lo'ihi volcano will rise above the water to form a new island in Hawaii. Okay, I know that this guy hasn't talked about any of, like, the space part of what would happen in the future. But, I mean, there's already talks of, in the next 10 to 20 years, of having manned missions to Mars. And then, eventually, you would think that in, like, 50 to 100 years, they would have entire colonies on Mars. So, I want him to talk more about that. Since, I mean, it seems like on Earth a lot of things are going to change over time, which makes sense because when you think about it, we haven't been here that long. We've only been here like, you know, in, in a couple thousand years, to be honest, where like we actually were able to do things to change the world. And um, it seems like as it stands now, the world is going to change whether we like it or not. And humans might not be able to adapt as well. So that's why we have to get to Mars. We have to get to other planets just so, you know, you never know what happens with these planets. So if anything happens to Earth, we'll still be okay as a species if we're on Mars or Uranus, which I don't think is possible. But if, it, if we have to do it, I will go to Uranus. That got weird. And in 500,000 years, it's likely that an asteroid with a diameter greater than one kilometer will hit eh. Earth. Okay. Unless I'm not time traveling there. It. Yeah, space lasers. The resulting yes. crater will be no less than 400 kilometers across. It will oh. start fires all over the planet and make the air unbreathable. So there's something to look forward to. And in case that's not enough, in one million years, we'll likely have another super volcano eruption. Ooh. Large enough to spew out 3,200 cubic kilometers of ash. It would produce enough lava to fill 75% of the Grand Canyon. Oh, cool. This It'll just would be go similar there. to the Toba eruption that almost wiped out humanity 70,000 years ago. I did not know oh, about that. And the nearby star Betelgeuse will have exploded into a supernova by this time. Not Betelgeuse, no! Don't Making say his it name three visible times. from Earth even during the daytime. In 2 million AD, humanity will have settlements throughout the solar system. Really? This awesome. also means that if populations on different planets have remained separate, humans may that? have evolved into other species adapted wait, wait, to their specific world. What? In 10 million years, I, I guess that is how evolution works. If evolution is real, which I believe, ev ev it's not even a belief. Evolution is real, okay? Things evolve over time. But yeah, I never even thought about it like that. That if humans go to other planets, which is probably going to happen one day, if you leave those people there for millions and millions of years, eventually they're going to adapt to their environment. And every single planet has different gravity, different weather, different conditions. So... There's going to be a lot of different types of humans, which is going to be kind of cool. Huge part of Eastern Africa will no, break off. Not the elephant. A new ocean basin. No. In 50 million years, Africa will collide with Eurasia, closing off the Mediterranean Sea. 
and a new mountain range will form between the two land masses. Is it just me or does like it blow your mind that it, like right now, technically, we are on a on a piece of land that is just slowly moving. It is just slowly shifting, but we can't feel it because it's so slow. And also, too, when you think about it, we are shifting on a piece of land on a giant ball floating through space at like a bajillion miles per hour. If you think about it too hard, you might hurt yourself. This mountain I have range done that. may include a mountain taller than Mount Everest. Out in space, Mars will collide with its moon. Oh, that, sorry, Mars. Resulting in it developing a ring system. Like <laughs> Wait a second, so does that mean that Mars is like cooked? <laughs> Can we not go to Mars anymore because it's gonna get hit by an asteroid moon? Like Saturn's. <laughs> is anywhere safe? In 60 million years, the Canadian and American Rockies will have eroded entirely. Wait, what? What a glow up. In 80 million years, all Hawaii, bye bye, Hawaii islands will be below the water. Sorry, Hawaii. And that might happen a lot sooner with global warming. So, uh, yeah, RIP Hawaii eventually. Sorry, in Hawaii. 100 million years. If you're in Hawaii, you probably already know that. So, I, if, if I'm the per... All right, cut, cut, cut. If I am the first person to tell you that, I am so sorry. An asteroid similar to the one that killed the dinosaurs 66 million years ago will likely hit Earth. Are you kidding one me? One that is 10 kilometers wide. Also, how do how do the In scientists know that? In million years, all of Earth's continents will be fused together like Pangaea. Another Except Pangaea? This time, it will be called Pangaea Ultima. <laughs> but don't get too attached to it. Because in 400 to 500 million years, Pangaea Ultima will separate again. Oh, cool. New map unlocked. Fortnite Chapter 4. 500 in to 600 500 million to years. 600 million years, a gamma ray burst Ooh. will likely occur within 6,500 light years from Earth. So you're telling me when I am 500 million years old, we're going to get attacked by aliens? If it what? strikes Earth, it could damage the ozone layer and trigger a mass extinction. What? 600 million years from now, the moon will be so far from Earth that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. And the sun's increasing luminosity will the have raised Illuminati? temperatures on Earth so much that it could halt plate tectonics movement. In 800 million years, carbon dioxide levels will drop dramatically oh, and god. photosynthesis will no longer oh, be possible. My god, the plants are anti-spiraling. Ozone will disappear from the atmosphere. No. And complex life on Earth will die. So guys, what we're eventually going to get to is Earth is no longer going to be habitable. I vote we go to Uranus. That's just my vote. Uh, you know, everybody can vote on it. I don't know where we go. Either that or we build an international space station rocket ship. That would be kind of cool. I would live there. And finally, in one billion years, the sun's luminosity will have increased by 10%. The Illuminati the average temperature has struck again. will be 47 degrees Celsius. Oh my God. Our atmosphere will feel like a damp greenhouse and oh our oceans will evaporate. It's not Even habitable. Pockets of water at each of the poles. It's an apocalypse. Dear Lord, what about the fishies? Well, when you arrive here in your time machine, eh. be mentally prepared to take in a planet Earth that looks nothing like the one you remember. I think my time machine might burn the as soon as I land. Will be gone. Hopefully. Wow living its best life on some other far-off planet. Because of the intense heat, lack of water, and lack of breathable air, Earth will be uninhabitable. So you're basically telling so you me Wally was a documentary. Instead, you should head out to see the rest of the solar system. Maybe you'll find your fellow humans there.